so it's eight o'clock so great to see you all and uh, welcome to those who are coming for the first time and welcome to anybody watching this um on the recording as well normally on the wednesday we would do a, a a loving kindness meditation for ourselves just a way of um trying to like getting used to ourselves more really um helping our positive states um uh, but we're not going to do that this week we're going to do something different we're going to do a gratitude meditation um and this is a, a something again it's something a bit unusual that uh, we don't do all the time but it's very useful also for creating positive states of mind uh, so in a way it's just the same as the one we normally do but at just a different angle um, and i might just say that in our triratna system of uh, practice the first two stages are called integration and positive emotion so integration is kind of uh, my teacher says that we're like um, we're like a bundle of habits tied together with string so you know we're all over the place we're scattered all the time some days we're happy some days we're pleasant some days we're unpleasant some days we feel good some days we feel really bad some days we're generous other days we're mean and there's all these different bits of us all flailing around and they get us into uh, states of um uh, of of not feeling very good about ourselves or about the world so what we're trying to do with integration is to bring everything together uh, so that we are the same person with just the different aspects of us uh, all the time. We're not going off quite so scattered. So that helps us to settle. It helps our mind to settle. And the mindfulness of breathing helps us with that. Uh, and the other stage is positive emotion. And of course, that's loving kindness meditation, having a, a much more positive approach to the world which helps us uh, to function in the world, but it also helps us to suffer less ourselves because we're in more positive states. So this morning, we're going to look at uh, what we're grateful for, uh, something that we don't probably do very consciously uh, a lot of the time, but it's very important because we think, we have this tendency, don't we, to think that um, it's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I certainly have that tendency, I don't know about you, that uh, the world revolves around me. And of course it doesn't. Uh, it feels a bit like that because we're sort of operating from, you know, from here, um, from, our own, from our own being. So it feels like we're the center of the universe. But in fact, uh, we couldn't survive. We just wouldn't survive if it wasn't for everything else including nature and other people so this meditation that we're going to do is about just appreciating that 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 our lives depend so much on other people and always have uh, and it's uh, it's a very free form sort of meditation so i'm just going to introduce each stage and then leave you to it so in the first stage uh we're just looking at ourselves we're grateful for the the things we have the things we are so our um the sense that we're alive that we're reasonably healthy even if we're not completely healthy that we are able to function in the world that we've been born into um a place where we have quite a lot of freedom and uh and comfort uh we're not you know we we're very lucky to have been born uh, in this country or in the west where there's plenty of food and uh, we're living a democracy and it might not be perfect but it's pretty good in the second stage we bring to mind all the people who've helped us as friends so many friends in our lives relatives parents uh friendships all that kind of thing the third stage we bring to mind uh, all the strangers that help us that we never meet or that we never get to know masses of them that drive supplies to us um, build supermarkets 
um, grow crops, all that kind of thing. And then in the fourth stage, we're going to look at the people we have difficulty with. Now, you might wonder how people, um, the people who irritate us, can possibly, how we can possibly be grateful to them. But we can because they are our best teachers. They expose the things we need to work on. So the people who make us irritable uh, give us the opportunity to, um, to practice not being irritable or to practice patience with our irritability. So that's an unusual stage, but a good one. And then in the final stage, we just bring uh, a sense of gratitude for everything that all these beautiful gifts that we've been given in our lives. Ah, so I'll lead us through it uh, and I'll give you plenty of time to, to reflect. Um, good morning to Julia and Sarah who've joined us as well and everybody else uh, who hasn't um, made any comments say good morning. You're very welcome. So we begin in the usual way uh, by settling in and you might be lying on your bed, lying on the floor, sitting on the chair or a cushion. So it doesn't matter, whatever suits you. And just coming into an appreciation of being here, wherever that is, right now. Just in this moment, as much as you can, being present. Noticing how that feels mentally, emotionally, and physically. So whatever your mental states, good or bad, pleasant or unpleasant, just noticing them and having a sense of acceptance and kindness towards your mental state. It doesn't matter what it is. <clears throat> Our mental states come and go and they will always keep changing. So just accepting how we are mentally and emotionally too, the same thing. We might be feeling very happy or we might be feeling stirred up in some way. Just having a sense of kindness to ourselves, whatever our emotional state. And our mental state and our emotional state will affect our body. So if we're, those two states are positive then our body will feel okay. If those two states, mental and emotional, are negative in any way, then we may well feel some discomfort in our body. Maybe in our tummy, our belly, our chest, or somewhere else in the body. And in the mind as well. So this... If we have any such discomfort, just bringing a sense of awareness to it, a sense of kindly awareness. It's something that our minds have created. And if we can home in on it with a sense of comfort and kindness, then it will begin to moderate. We can't just stop it but we can look after it. And it will change. So however we are, just being with that in a kind way. Noticing the weight of the body on the bed, the floor, the chair, the cushion and allowing gravity to take your weight, just letting the weight of your body 
be held just giving it up just letting go Noticing contact with whatever you're sitting or lying on. Just the feelings in the body of that contact. Noticing whether you're frowning or not, moving up to the face. Are you frowning? If you are just allowing the frown to drop out, allowing your face to relax. Allowing your shoulders to relax. And your arms. the whole of your being, just letting go. So in the first stage of this practice, we're going to consider how lucky we are as individuals. Our circumstances of our birth, the relatively easy life we have, it's not perfect, there are lots of difficulties, but if we compare our lives to some people in the world, in war zones and places where there is no shelter or food, we're very lucky. So we have all the things we need to sustain our bodies. And just thinking about all the particular benefits we have, health, situation, mental states, relatively sane mental states, and support. I'll leave it to you to come up with everything. And if um, negative things appear, just letting them go. We're concentrating on all the positive aspects of our own personal lives. There will be negative aspects, but for the moment we're looking at the positives.
And in the second stage, we're going to bring to mind all those people, or as many as we can, of those people who have supported us personally, have been friends to us, have been helpful to us in any way. This might include parents, relatives, teachers, uh, friends through the years, all those kind of people that have that have been with us in a positive way and helped us in our lives. Again, there will be people who haven't supported us <clears throat> and there will be negative aspects, but just letting those go and concentrating on all those people who have helped us. And just really noticing how much we've depended on all this friendly support over our lives. And in the third stage, we're going to notice how much we depend on strangers in our life, how much gratitude we have to them. These, in, these could be strangers that we see regularly uh, or strangers that we never ever will see in our lives. So in the first part of this, just thinking about all the strangers that help you in your life, that drive buses, serve in shops, stock shelves, teach, teach children, teach adults, um, all the different people who 
have an effect on your life, but you'll never know very well. You might say hello to them, but you will never know them. And then you might bring to mind all the people who you will never know who support you in all sorts of ways. The people who grow your food, the people who transport it, those people who look after the electricity and water and gas grids. all the administrators that make things run smoothly and so on how many can you think of So there's probably hundreds of thousands of people in the world who support our lives in one way or another. Just having a sense of gratitude to each and every one of them. And in the fourth stage, we're going to bring to mind those people who create difficulties for horrors. So this is a strange stage. But the people who irritate us, the people that we're not comfortable with, and the people who upset us, 
in small ways or big ways. Um, just thinking about them for a moment and just seeing what happens. What happens in our minds, in our bodies. So I would guess that negative thoughts and negative feelings arise. And these create unhappiness for us. These create pain and discomfort for us. So if we could respond to these people with kindness and love, then we would feel a lot less pain and a lot less discomfort. And they don't need to change but they show us the way that we can change so that we can be happier, so that we can be more content. So can we change our attitude, our, um, the way we see these people that irritate or upset us? Can we see them as people who are actually teaching us how we create our own suffering and discomfort? And having seen that, can we help ourselves to let go of these reactions, these unhelpful negative reactions? So having a sense of gratitude to all those who traditionally are called our enemies, the people who create difficulties for us. And being positive about that if we can, or as much as we can. Just seeing people who we find difficult are guides in our life, who can guide us to a happier place by changing ourselves. By just accepting that this is what we do and seeing it clearly and that helps us not to do it. So in the final stage, just appreciating all the other people and ourselves that create our beautiful lives, our precious human lives. Appreciating ourselves for the way we always do our best in the world, sometimes in really difficult times. We're always trying hard to live our lives, to being grateful to ourselves for that, for the effort we make, even if sometimes that effort feels hard.
being grateful to all the people who support us, who have supported us throughout our lives in one way or another. So important to us. And having a sense of gratitude to all the strangers who help to support our lives, help to make us, um, help to feed us, transport us, keep us warm, keep us safe. We have a real sense of appreciation for all the thousands and thousands of people who are behind us in our lives, often in unseen ways. And can we even have a sense of appreciation for the people who create difficulties in our lives? They show us our tendencies. They show us that we do have things to work on, that we can, we can change. They show us our own tendency to create our own suffering by reacting. And they help us see clearly what it is about ourselves that we might change. So can we be grateful even to them, our teachers? <laughs> and then spreading our gratitude out to the whole world all the beings in the world, all human beings, all seven billion of them, people we will never know who have helped us in our lives in some way. And going even further than that, spreading our gratitude out to the whole of nature. If it wasn't for the natural world, we wouldn't be here. So it's really important that we have a sense of gratitude to all animals, birds, creatures that live in the sea, um, all insects, reptiles, trees, greenery, the soil that grows our food, the whole of the earth, this vast ecosystem that sustains us. Can we have a real sense of appreciation and gratitude to that? And we're going to end this meditation now, but I would suggest if you can, that during the day, as you go about your life, you try and remember to notice all the things that you're grateful for, all the things that sustain you and support you in your life. From the smallest thing to the biggest, just staying aware as much as you can of all that we have to be grateful for in this precious life.
Well, I hope you found that useful. It's uh, really quite a radical thing to do, to spend 25 minutes thinking about gratitude to others. Um, and uh, I think it's a really helpful practice to, to help us with uh, becoming more positive in our lives. And the more positive we become, of course, um, the happier we become. Uh, it's, uh, it's, you know, it's just obvious really, isn't it? If we're positive, if we're grateful, then it, that leads to a sense of uh, satisfaction and happiness. If we, the, how a tendency as human beings, I think it's uh, scientifically proved is that negative things, things we don't like have much more effect on our minds than the positive things. So we can reverse that. We can spend more time thinking about the things that we're grateful for and the positive things in our lives. And that really helps us to be happy. So that's it for this morning. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, I shall be back at 11 o'clock with our morning cup of meditation. And then again tomorrow morning at 8 for the mindfulness of breathing meditation. Uh, this, that's right. So, um, yeah, lovely to see you. And uh, if you do, uh, if you feel inclined to make a donation to your Buddhist group, we're, we're entering a period of uh, great expense with our new centre, um, getting it ready. And uh, we don't have any income. We rely entirely on the generosity of people who come to our classes. So if you, if you feel like making a small donation, a fiver will be great. Uh, I would be really appreciative and so would the rest of the group. So uh, anyway, that's up to you. The link's on the text with this video, or you can go to our website and you'll find details on there. So thanks for coming along. See you again soon. Have a great day. Uh, look after yourselves and uh, see you again soon. And lots of love to you all. <laughs>